Nice. And welcome back to uh, Connecting Comics Abroad again, Mr. Tiburcio. So we're going to do some opening, some reveals, and just go over and just kind of discuss and talk about, uh, just going to talk comics. So, all right, let's jump right into it. What do you got today? Like any good comic book junkie enabler, Noah has to tell me that there's a coupon for eBay. <laughs> so what do I do? And we had spoken about this about, you know, in, in the previous time I was here is, that I like to hold my comics and read them and whatnot. I already right. have this one, and I told him there, there are very few select books that I would want slabbed, and this was one of them, which was funny because about a month ago I said if there was one I was going to get, this would be it. No so here yeah. it is. It showed up. Uh, another one of the things that, you know, I, I have a book from 1990. I've read it several times. I've held it. It's a good book. Uh, now seeing a 9-6 book, <laughs> this book is so much nicer. Just the colors are so vibrant. The edges are sharp, and mine's a good book. Mm -hmm. Mine, there's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with my book. Oh yeah. But at a, at a nine six nine eight, that, that is a totally different. So if, it's just a different thing. So if you're oh, thinking yeah. about getting a book, get as high as you can get because I would I would I would agree with that. Yeah, definitely it comes down to also the the book that you have is you know the sentimental value that goes along with having that that first one and what you think of uh, the grade wise. Yeah, you're. Usually you're gonna you're you're gonna nail that head a little further than what what you think it is when it comes to, to grading. I know I've done it. the The first time I submitted anything to CGC, and oh man, I was off on my grading, <laughs> really bad. But heck yeah, yeah. This I've always really enjoyed this cover. I've always thought that the way they did that cutout, and I don't know how they do it, but it really gives it a 3D quality to it. On this book particularly, uh, it's just a great looking book, and and truthfully, probably one of my all time favorites. Uh, okay. Big Ghost Rider fan, so. Now, who did? Who was doing the uh, the writing on this one? Uh, well, Saul Paris did, did the uh, Howard Howard Mackey story. Yep, Howard Mackey story, Man. and Javier Saul Paris and Mark Teixeira. Yeah. Man, sometimes it is so hard to even tell the difference between a nine six and a nine eight. It is. I tell you, whatever uh, the grade book is, my mine is. This is much nicer, <laughs> much much nicer. So uh, I just thought we'd show that to you. My very first slabbed book, hopefully the first of many. Uh, heck yeah! But oh, heck yeah. we'll just uh, see how far that takes us. Nice. Well, if you want to start opening your next package, I'll show real quick what I got with my coupon. So, I've been after this one for a while, and when I went to go get it, the place had a buy three or more comic books and get an additional 20% off. So, I bought two uh, $1 filler comic books for my Daredevil collection and bought Action Comics number 254. This is the first appearance of Bizarre Superman. So, yeah, I was pretty darn excited for a, uh, I think what would have cost me, I think, 130 shipped. I paid 85 shipped. Fantastic. Yeah. Ah, heck of a deal. If you just wait for it, sometimes the bigger books that you want, all you got to do is have some patience and you'll get it. You'll get it. So these books here are, are, are a complete surprise to Noah. Um... I'm gonna I'm gonna start with these books upside down because I want to see the look on Noah's face when he sees some of these because uh, these are gonna be kind of a head turner I think I don't know which way, which way these are going here hold on yeah let's go this way <laughs> let's go this way all righty so here we go here's the very first one what nice homage to number three hundred man that is freaking awesome wow that marbling um if you've seen the originals that the man does he does make these in tile mm -hmm. does he really yes they're huge no at least that's the picture kidding. i saw that is awesome ah, the artistic value that goes into that is ridiculous that i is just freaking i awesome. just think they're a great book <laughs> now and then let's go to the next one <laughs> Another wonderful homage. First Punisher. These are awesome. And these are all anniversary covers leading up to the uh, the 800. 
You got 789. I'm assuming there's a couple more in there. Man. He put a lot of work into these. These are amazing. How how big were those were the tiles oh, boy. that you were seeing? These things had to be like you know, I might be exaggerating, but it looked like like they were three by five. Yeah. Like yeah. three feet by five five feet by three feet. They were huge. Wow. Oh yeah, for the level of detail that he got out of these, I imagine they had to be huge. This is amazing. Well done. Now, who was it that was it McFarland that did this? Wasn't McFarland? No, no, they're no. redone by another gentleman. Okay, okay, I, I don't okay. know his name, so I don't want to butcher his name. <laughs> oh, <sighs> homage to the first uh, Frank Miller. Now, technically, the first Frank Miller was actually issue 27 Spider-Man, Spectacular Spider-Man. But this is when he first, his first uh, issue when he got on board with Daredevil. That is his, that, that's his. <laughs> and then we'll finish, it, we'll finish up with that one. Oh. Oh. See, one day, one day I hope to get into the... Uh, uh, the Hulk Club for that issue. That is just... Like one of our many sayings, all it takes is money. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We just cut off there at the end of his homage. We had a lot more content to go and a lot more that will still get put out tomorrow. So join us again, and we'll uh, keep this ball rolling. Thanks.